Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching as always. So we have a King of Swords reverse out here that thinks he's being Houdini out here and that he's some type of smooth criminal and he's making moves behind the scenes and no one sees what he's doing. Someone is patiently waiting for the right time to cause some type of destruction or a tower in someone's life, but you're going to be heartbroken because honey, you may want to worry about the things you have going on in your life because you got a whole lot going on, okay? Someone may be sick out here, but they're still set on destroying another person's life. Um, yeah, this came out sideways. Someone want, with this coming out sideways, this means that someone wants you to see them in some type of energy that does not match who they are. So basically someone is pretending to be a genuine person. They're pretending to be in the upright and they are not. They are trying to deceive a queen of cups. Okay. So this is someone behind the scenes that may have accepted some type of bribery, made some type of false promise, and he retracted on the promise, but he's trying to pre pre pretend uh, that he has your best interest as hard, but interest at heart or he or he's on your side supporting you someone is not this is a facade on the surface someone may look like they are you know balanced um they are sincere but beneath the surface someone is taking some type of action against a queen of cups to set you up um so that you can lose everything. Someone is basically trying to dismantle your stability, your livelihood, your resources. Someone does not want you being self-sufficient out here. Someone was absolutely hired to do something to you, to block you. And I'm telling you, this person is coming after a queen of swords, maybe wanting to temper with your job. He was absolutely or is absolutely collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes um, trying to destroy you. It's like they're saying, oh, how is this person still strong and still hopeful out here? They should be feeling way down and should be down and out. This is a whole group that's been working with this masculine and is still working with this masculine to cause a lot of hindrances for you. But in the end, this whole group is going to have to walk away. There's a queen of pentacles in here that's going to have to do some type of some type of self-actualization. They are trying to, what, dismantle your stability, just like I said. So you're going to have to hold back from these people if they come towards you. But they want to deplete your resources. As you can see, this woman is going from a what? A nine of pentacles to a four of pentacles. And then they want you trapped in your, in your mind, in your life may want to bring you legal issues and things of that nature so you be mindful be careful of any masculine coming your way there are like three or four masculines behind the scenes that are watching a woman and trying to come into her energy to cause some type of mis have some type of ending, some type of tower, but they want to make it look like they want to have a new beginning with you, build a family with you. If you accept an offer from any of these masculines, you're ending your life. Someone is waiting patiently, coming up with a plan, right? They're going to come in talking about they want to work with you. That's why this temperance energy is out here, okay? And they're waiting. And when the right time comes, they're going to take action, right? And they're going to come in pretending like they're practical. Um, they, they're really down to earth. They heal. They've balanced things out. They have a lot of money. But at the end, this is what they're bringing in your life. Conflict, uh, problems, okay? All kinds of problems. And in the end, this is going to be you. And they want you in this energy, okay? And this is absolutely a king of swords. You, the king of swords, you may want to hold back from whatever it is you're planning because it's your future is not looking good. This man absolutely wants to come in to cause in endings for someone. He's coming in to play with your emotions. And this is someone very vain, very lustful. It's like someone was hoping that you would see them as your soulmate, your lover, but you don't see them in that way. Like you see someone for who they are, but they want to come in and defeat you. Because you defeated this man in a way. Because he's been able to mislead other people before, right? He's been able to present himself in this light. But when you see this man, you don't see him as an ace of cups energy. You see him as an ace of cups in the reverse. Which means you see someone for exactly who they are. They pretend to be something that they are not. This man could be working with... A king of cups behind the scenes. This is someone that pretends to be something they're not as well. Uh, they may even be trying to block a king of wands from coming towards someone. You need to be cautious. Yeah, they are. Excuse me. They are causing conflict 
for a king of wands, trying to block him from going towards wish fulfillment. So they are weighing this man down. Okay. They're trying to cause burdens on his finances, uh, deplete his resources. They're doing something to someone behind the scenes because they don't want him coming in to give you an offer. But this is absolutely a king of swords that knows that you see, I'm telling you, he knows that you see the truth about him. You don't see this man as an equal. You don't see this man as someone that's loving. You don't see this man as someone you want to have a contract with, or you even have a contract with, like, you know, this person is not your match. Okay, someone is very vain, someone is very barbaric, someone is a bit of a brute, they like to control people, all kinds of stuff. And there's someone he knows that's wanting to come, come towards you to give you an offer and he's taking action to interfere with that contract. He said, if I can't have her, you can't have her either. Okay, now I know I don't have anything to offer her, but you can't have her if I cannot have her. I'm going to keep causing blockages for you and this person coming together until you give up. But there's a masculine behind the scenes. He does not care how way down he is, uh, what they do to his resources, how they try to block him and things like that. He knows who you are on a spiritual level and someone will be taking action to balance something out in their life and possibly yours. Someone is going through healing and investing in themselves. This could absolutely be a king of wands behind the scenes that is trying to bring balance into his life and choosing to see things from a higher perspective. I got a download today where I heard he knows the truth. So someone knows the truth now about a situation. So if you have people out here lying about you to this man, he knows the truth now. And he may have done something in the past that's hunting him. He may be losing a lot of sleep and things like that. But someone does want to come towards you and give you some type of commitment. And they're hoping that you will see them as your emperor or something like that. Or they're taking charge of their life, basically. And standing their ground to an institution, right? Because he sees you as wish fulfillment. So whatever connection he has with these people, whatever relationship, he could be married as well. There's some type of ending going on in a relationship, uh, he could be married to someone with this three of pentacles, but I feel like there's some type of divorce going on behind the scenes. And a lot of people may not be happy that this man is choosing to manifest a new beginning, which means it's going to lead to some type of loss for this whole group here. The friend group, community, family, whatever this is, this man investing in something, or, uh, something, someone somewhere else, right? It's leading to a lot of loss for these people and they're going to have to cut their losses and move on. This is a whole family family that got together i don't know if this is like blood family or just some, some type of uh, uh, uh surrogate family they've created or something like that but they've all been working together to cause illusions cause blockages and stalemates they don't want this masculine moving forward uh there's something where it's just like a group of people have been committed in deceiving a masculine it's like they play a lot of mental games with this person but he knows the truth about who he needs to give his offer to so he's walking away uh from these people this could be a king of cups but i don't think this person is naturally a king of cups i think this is someone that is in his king of cups energies because of the emotions he has for you but this could be like a king of pentacles king of wands energy that is taking charge of his life and moving forward okay but what I've been picking up on is a kink of source reverse that's doing a little bit too much behind the scenes and people may not know or whoever this is may not know uh, that he's pulling strings behind the scenes to interfere with communications. Someone is like, you ever seen like an old school head, like one of those men from the old schools that are just out of touch with reality. They don't have any type of emotions. And I'm not saying every man from the old school don't have emotions, but this specific person that I got uh, a, 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 a download on, someone is void of human emotions. Someone just likes to control people. Someone likes to pretend that there's something they're not. And he's planning something meticulous but there's something malicious for a feminine energy and he's doing it one step at a time. And he thinks that he's going to at the end, surprise you with something. And it's something that's supposed to cause an ending in your life. And when this man takes action to do something to you, he's going to lose something, something about his, his home, his stability is going to be shambled. As soon as he takes some type of action to destroy something you have or to try to destroy you, any type of impulsive action he takes to come in to give you some type of false offer is going to lead to some type of ending for him. And he may want to hold back and think about it, come in and tell the truth. Okay. 
Uh, so I don't know what this is, but there's a king of swords behind the scenes that's going through quite a lot, right? Someone, I don't know if he feels like he made the wrong choice by lying to you. Like someone made a promise, but then they went back on their promise, right? Um, and now they're stuck in their head because they're under some type of judgment because they give this offer to someone else and breadcrumb you. So they know there's some type of conflict coming towards them. Or he may not know, but if you watch this video, this is what's ahead of you. You got a lot of problems coming in. Someone may be fighting with a lot of people behind the scenes or this group. They feel mentally in prison because what? They've been doing a lot to weigh someone down, block your resources, block you from being seen, block you from being from receiving the flowers that you've earned, right? Juggling your work, wanting you to be out here juggling yourself, not being strong or nothing like that, not focusing on your work, right? So they've been doing a lot to weigh you down, but it's like they are the ones that are weighed down. And there are people still behind the scenes investing in this situation, and they're going to lose everything in the end. There's, there's a time coming for a group of people. Um, you're being advised to just stand your ground. This is how this man see you, the king of wands that's, that's wanting to work with you. The, yeah, this man is going through healing. Absolutely. He is going through healing. And he sees you as his equal. Someone sees you as as a person that's in the upright like he knows you're someone with high standards someone with uh, morals someone that does what's right someone that's very intellectual someone very smart um someone very business savvy and things like that um but when the time comes this man will be taking action to balance something out but right now they are trying to weigh this man down trying to defeat him there's some type of marriage going on with a woman or uh, Empress Energy, this is someone this man was married to that's trying to hold on to him and prevent him from going somewhere else to be happy. It does not matter if this man is going to the woman you think he's going to or to somewhere else. He's going to leave. I think there's actually a divorce actively going on between two people. Absolutely. There's a family going through a tower. There's a woman out here with her a mother figure, wife figure that was telling people she's trying to protect her family, trying to save her family. She was lying. There's something where someone is just emotionally imbalanced and they are disappointed because everything they invested in, someone put a lot of energy in causing endings for someone else, for especially her husband. Maybe he didn't know that, but he has some type of awareness now, which is why he is making some type of quick judgment going within about the situation to get away from this woman. He may have like his sword pulled out at her because he knows what all she's been doing behind the scenes and he's choosing to move on and go have like new experiences, right? He's taking a chance on himself, right? There may be some type of soul connection between you and this person, but he knows the truth about his wife now. And I, and quite honestly, what I'm getting is that it's not the fact that he didn't know what this woman was. It's the fact that he is now trying to turn a new leaf and be a better version of himself because there's a masculine out here, King of Wands, that did the same thing. His ex-wife, uh, soon to be ex-wife, whatever you want to call it, was doing. And this is causing hindrances in people's life. And they saw this as a victory for themselves. Okay. But this separation is going on between the two of them. is some type of karmic lesson. They have been each other's karmic lessons for the entirety of their relationship and they didn't know that. So he's been holding on to her thinking that, oh, you know, I mean, we've been together for 20 something years, 10 years, 15 years. You know, we're meant to be. A, some, there's some type of odd uh, mentality, but the whole time they've been together, they've been each other's karmic lessons. So they were supposed to learn the lesson a long time ago and separate, but they stayed in it because the both of them have some type of mindset. And this is something they do as a business when it comes to taking from other people or blocking other people. People. There's something like that that they've been doing for years, right? Depleting other people's resources. So there is something where a wife character is about to go through some type of ending. This is one of those women. Yeah, these people are going through ending. And they're going to have to find the strength to be brave, just like you had to find the strength to be brave. Again, you and this masculine, you keep coming up next to each other. This person does see you as wish fulfillment. But I don't think you see this man as wish fulfillment for now because you're looking away from him. You're focused on protecting yourself and standing your ground because you know what this man was partaking in and how he and his families, his friends were trying to take you out of here. 
undo your life, undo you in every way, shape, or form. It's like they've been Houdini behind the scenes trying to destroy you. This could be the family or the people that hire their king of swords in the reverse to take you out. Um, and they haven't been able to. So this king of swords now thinks he's, uh, he's, uh, clever enough with how he's moving. Um, behind the scenes and maybe he thinks you don't know but you i am getting you're a high priestess you're fair someone very gifted you look into everything you're one of those people that look at the details of everything so what people say is not really what you pay attention to is what they are not saying so you're picking up on things and you know this man is headed to an ending the king of swords whatever it is he's plotting for you is going to backfire on him horribly okay this could be like a business owner uh, someone that is well of well to well to do is doing well in life. I don't know how to put that, but maybe his money has gotten him in some type of mindset where he thinks he's invincible. But just know that you are being watched, sir. And the moment you take some type of action to end a feminine energy or whoever this is, your life is going to be so honey. This is going to be you. As soon as you take action, you're going to be hanging out here like dry meat, like I say on my channel. Oh, those ancestors are about to be roasting you. You are about to be hanging on top of the fire, the smoke everywhere, flame, flames blazing. Oh, it's going to be a marvelous sight to see for those ancestors. I'm telling you, you better hold back because this whole family, this is what they're about to go through. There's a whole family going through an ending. I don't even, I heard not about now. They are going through this ending. Okay. Um, but as yeah, they are going through an ending. I split the deck and this is what's going on. They are going through an ending for causing manipulations. This is a toxic group. And they thought that causing hindrances, lying to interfere with some type of karmic justice that was supposed to take place for two people was going to block them. These two are still going to meet in divine timing. They do absolutely have a contract with one another. And this is a contract that's ordained by the most high. It's going to be up to each of them if they want to pass Go past this uh, blockage, this barrier, this bridge um, in order for them to live in their truth, heal and things like that. They don't have to be together, but these two will be meeting in divine timing to have some type of closure. Someone will be apologizing to another person. And I'm not saying that as in, you know, he has to do this or she has to do this, but someone feels the need that they do need to apologize to someone because they wrong another person and they want to apologize so that they can bring balance into a situation. It's like someone is in touch with their healed side their inner child right so they're trying to do things the right way now okay and often yeah they're trying to do things the right way because they're going through a healing process someone someone may even be protecting you behind the scenes and you don't know that someone may be advocating for you like they're speaking their truth all right they're clearing things up. Someone is communicating their truth and is disappointing this family. They're unhappy because this masculine is telling them the truth about who you are. So you may have like a queen of swords or someone in the environment that this masculine is in that's lying because she wants people to see you as someone that is disingenuine. But this masculine is out there advocating for you and telling them the truth. It's like whatever lie she tells, he's refuting it. He said, no, nah, that's not true. You're a liar. This person is in the upright and you're pissed up because you weren't able to destroy them. You're the one going through endings after you did a lot of manipulations and caused a lot of what? Uh, illusions, told a lot of lies, trying to block someone's forward movement, block their resources, have them mentally trapped, work with a group of people to have this person in a lot of conflict and it never worked because they were protected. You tried to weigh them down. Now the ancestors have you all weighed down and you feel defeated in life. That is something this man could be saying. He's seeing someone that's insecure and he will be moving on just like this woman is moving on, right? Someone may have a lot of emotions uh, for a feminine energy, but there's some type of healing he needs to go through, right? He's going through some type of healing and has some type of epiphany or is having some type of epiphany about all of the burdens, right? These people were causing this person silently behind the scenes, not realizing that this person that he has his eyes on that he's interested in, it's not that they're cursed or anything like that, because I think this is what someone told him in his community that a woman was cursed or something. Someone was in the predicament that they were in or is in the predicament that they were in because people were causing a lot of illusions and causing towers to this person's resources. That's what was happening the whole time. So there's a group out here, especially a feminine energy. Someone was very determined to hinder someone's resources, options, 
uh, uh, offers everything you can think of throwing beauty spells, death spells, like they wanted you like just mentally unstable, mentally imbalanced, emotionally unstable, like living in fear. They wanted you to be like so afraid that you were even afraid of your shadow. Like when you looked around and you saw your shadow move while you're moving, you, you get afraid and you don't want to be out anymore. You want to be inside, but that's not how things are going. Maybe there's a time in life when all of the stuff these people were doing to hinder your stability, maybe it was working, but now it's not working because you've taken charge of your life which has caused some type of ptsd anxiety fear and something like that for these people there is absolutely a queen of swords in a community that's living in fear because the truth is known she's not able to lie to a masculine anymore there could be a community that even sees the truth about this woman there could be a masculine, maybe this king of wands, he doesn't even want to talk to this woman anymore. So what she's doing is sending a friend in that's pretending to be wholesome, right? So that he or she can talk to him. He's not paying these people any mind. This man knows what he wants in his life and it has to do with a queen of cups. And if he doesn't end up with this queen of cups, he's still not staying in this community or this marriage that he's in. Like someone has decided to give their offer to someone else. He's going to be investing elsewhere someone wants to turn a new leaf right they're taking a, a new path in life they may be telling him that if he takes a new path he's going to end up poor he's going to end up rejected that's not true you're going to be very successful in life you're just going to go through some type of uh, period of you know a little bit of a uh, stagnation but this is preparation for you by the ancestors by the universe they've been calling you a long time to step up to the plate to go through some type of healing to commit yourself right to commit yourself to your knowledge healing waking up like doing things that improve who you are bringing balance in your life so that you could have wish fulfillment getting in touch with your inner child but you've been refusing and staying in this energy and this is why you're going to go through a little bit of a stagnant period like a stalemate is not really a stalemate because the ancestors during that time are going to be working on you okay but you do need to stand your ground to a queen of cups queen of wands that may be in your energy again you and this person are looking away from each other this is another queen of wands and the car keeps coming out the same you guys have seen me pull this car out these three cars out this and it's been coming out the scene three times in a row now these two are looking away from each other this man is healing He's wishing to heal. He's wishing for fulfillment. He's wishing for success. He's wishing to be elsewhere. This man is going through a healing process and there could be a queen of wands in his energy that, that is not his match. Even though they're showing up here as the king and queen of wands, they are looking away from each other, which means that they are not a match. And even if the woman he wants to go towards is a queen of wands, she is looking away from him right now because I don't think that woman is focused on love right now. I think someone is just focused on their pentacles, their family, uh, things like that. Okay. And there's a king of wands in here. I mean, king of swords in here. I don't know if he's friends with this king of swords or he's familiar with this king of swords and he expected this person to be in the upright. He's not. He's been lying and causing a lot of manipulations behind the scenes. I said it. This king of swords here, he's planning something for a feminine energy. He's planning to disturb your energy, your resources, your opportunities, your offers, your stability, your self-sufficiency, your independence, everything, your resources. He's going to try to interfere with it and as soon as he does this is going to be him and the group that hired him going through endings and stalemates going through what like so before you take that action mr sophisticated king of swords you may want to think about that you think you're out here being a smooth criminal and you think no one sees you the ancestors the spirit realm and whoever you're coming after they see you and you're going to be weighed down because this is a judgment that's been called upon you. Your home front, baby, is about to be a hot mess. You're about to be losing finances like it's uh, abracadabra out here. Okay? Reaching in the back, nothing there. Trying to reach in your bags and pockets and things like that. Ain't nothing going to be in there. So before you come for this woman that you're trying to destroy, you may want to think twice because this is your future. As above, so below. So this is your future. And again, I said as above, so below. So something has already been manifested for you in the spirit realm. It's about to manifest in the physical because what? This is the decision you made and you're going to be weighed down and burdened. This is your future, sir. I'll tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie, Mr. King of Swords. 
Y'all out here talking about uh, trying to tell someone they've been hit by a smooth criminal and the ancestors, the spirit realm is telling you the same thing. You're waiting patiently for the time to strike. And them ancestors are waiting patiently for you to bust the move so they can dismantle your entire life. And I'm talking about you losing your business, lo you losing your job, you losing, I'm telling you, you losing everything. When I mean everything, everything, your life is going to be filled with nothing but conflict, stalemates. Still mix, okay? Complicated new beginnings. You won't have no new beginnings. When they're done with you, you're going to be looking for this feminine energy that you are trying to, to destroy to ask them for forgiveness. You won't be able to find this person. You're going to have to find the strength to make it through this. Again, you're a king of swords causing illusions because you don't want someone to receive some type of opportunity. You don't want two people to come together. You want to, I'm telling you, sir. And you're under judgment, your money, everything, okay? Everything is about to be t dismantled. You won't be out here, you won't even have the energy or time to pretend to be something you're not because when people see you, they'll see you exactly for who you are. Again, the cars came out the scene. Mm -hmm. You're under judgment. Your home front, under judgment. Your resources, under judgment. Your connections and relationships, under judgment. Who's, who, whose ever ancestors the, uh, these are that you are playing around with? Honey, they don't play around like that. They don't play around like that. You, you receive some type of download, some type of dream. Uh, you may have been given some type of dream about someone you're trying to juggle out here. You may want to go back, refer back to that dream. Like you had a dream about a feminine energy and they told you who this person were and you still woke up the next day and decided to tell a lot of lies about someone so that they could stay in some type of entrapment that people were trying to put them in. And that has put you under some type of judgment. And again, the cars keep coming out the scene. You are about to be in some type of state of living you could have never imagined. So if I was you, I would throw it with caution because your future is looking real bleak. Your future is looking real bleak. I don't know if you're doing something for money or you're obsessed with a feminine energy. The feelings are not reciprocated. That's what I've been told to tell you. Whoever you are stalking. Oh, yeah, honey. Whoever you are stalking, the feelings are not reciprocated. Someone has their swords pulled out at you because what they know who you are. All you care about is what money. You like to control people control people you're very impulsive right you could be someone that even sleeps around i'm telling you this is not an option this contract you're trying to force with someone is not an option you need to take a different path because if you take the wrong one it's not going to end pretty for you you're someone that's reckless. I don't know if you're in like a relationship where your partner and, you and yourself are into three-way activities and things like that and nobody knows yeah Take a different uh, path because if you take the one you're getting on, still mate, you're going to be stuck. You may want to call a ceasefire because this is your life moving forward. The truth has been exposed about you and everybody you are working for, working with. You must be working for someone because I intended to say working with, okay? There's something about you and your partner. You are in a relationship but trying to force someone in a third-party relationship and you... You too, I'm telling you, hold back, sir. Hold back. Hold back. Okay? Hold back. If you stop now, if you stop doing something now, you'll be able to save the rest of what you have. You already lost a lot of money. It's not going to get any better for you. So you may want to hold back. Because, honey, it ain't looking good for you. Like, you're about to be out here <laughs> begging, asking for loans and stuff like that from people that you thought were working with you and you were going to have victory with them, okay? You thought something was going to go in your favor, but what happened? This is you. This is about to be you uh, as well, way down. The car keeps coming out the scene. So this is your forewarning. Consider this a favor from the ancestors. Consider this a, a, a favor. You invested in the wrong thing. Invested in the wrong mother effing thing. It's what I'm being told to tell you because your life is about to be. Oh Lord, I'm telling you, these ancestors ain't playing with you and the people. Hey, who came after that? These ancestors are not about to be playing with you. So you need to thread with caution. Listen, this is how the cars came out. 
Okay, there's a tower, excuse me, folks. Tower, five of what? Five of wands. Not that it matter what order they come out in. All right, what is this? What is this? Five of swords, you, <laughs> and what is that? Okay, your future ain't looking good. You're about to be, I'm telling you, hold on to the, the little bit of money you had. You absolutely had a dream about someone. Their ancestors revealed something to you and you still got up the next day and chose to what? Invest in the wrong thing. Something was revealed to you. You would have had a victory if you would have listened to them, but you chose not to. So now you're about to be weighed down. And again, the cars came out the scene. You think your money makes you invincible. It does not. Burdens, way down. <laughs> you're having nightmares, nightmares, nightmares. Talking about, I got this. I got this. Leave this to me. I got this. By the time I'm done, she ain't going to be able to get out here and even show her face. By the time I'm done with her, she's going to be quiet. She's going to be out of here. By the time I'm done, she's going to be gone. No one's going anywhere. The only place a feminine energy is going is to a new location to start life over, but not, not, bo not, not, not broke, uh, not damaged, nothing. Someone is about to be elevated. Elevated, ele, excuse me, elevated in life, okay? That someone you're going to, when, when all of this is done, if you have a TV, if you have a phone, when you turn your phone on, you get on YouTube, you get on TikTok, whatever this is, you are going to see someone and you're going to feel so stupid for investing in something that you should not have invested in when it comes to taking someone down and depleting their resources, okay? If you would have invested in someone, this would have been you right here and commitment. But this is what this energy is about to have on their own with someone else, okay? While you go through a whole death, okay? You're planning to have someone out in the cold temper with their work, right? You want to put an end to someone's work, someone's investments, <clears> Thread <throat> with caution. This is a warning from the ancestors to you. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Yeah, this is the whole group. When they're when this is done, they're gonna be wishing they never caused any illusions and would have taken a different path. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.